Hey everyone, uh, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Today I will be walking you through how to connect MailChimp to your email opt-in form on Divi. Okay, perfect, let's get started. So uh, we already have a coming soon page um, on our site. Uh, this one is actually available in the Dragonfly Avenue shop if you'd like it, as well as a couple other options. Uh, but to get started, we're going to just click Enable Visual Builder. We also have a free coming soon slash landing page available in the Dragonfly Avenue library. Uh, so you can subscribe to that and get access for a free designed uh, coming soon page. Okay, so you are going to have need the email opt-in module. So that is going to be this one. Um, if you don't have one added in already, you can do add new module and select this email opt-in uh, module. But since we have one already, we're just going to click the gear. And we are going to go down to where it says email account. The nice thing about Divi is that it provides a bunch of different email marketing platforms to choose from and connect to directly. Um, if you, uh, in this case, we're using MailChimp. So if you are using one of these other ones, uh, to feel free to reach out to them directly. These steps uh, will probably be fairly similar, um, but there might be some differences. So to check those out. Okay, then uh, we are going to select a list. If you don't have a list already, you're going to do add. You're going to add your um, account name. So mine is this and your API key. The API key is gonna come from MailChimp. So on your MailChimp end, okay, um, we are gonna go to the API keys page. So that goes from profile, extras, API keys. And I have one currently uh, made. If not, there'll be a block that says generate API key. Um, you, if you have one already or if you want to create a new one, you can always create a new one and they'll make another one. But this is the API key information that we're going to need on the Divi end. So we'll just copy that and paste that into here and hit submit. And then you're going to select from the list. This is the only list I have for that. So we'll just select that. Um, if you have, if you just created a new list uh, you can, and you already have it connected, click fetch list for it to update for you. And then you're just going to hit save and you are all set. That's pretty much all you have to do. And then to save on this end. And once that is saved, you can just exit the visual builder and you are all set. You are now connected to MailChimp. You can start collecting email addresses, um, names, et cetera, whatever, you, whatever information you want. Um, again, this layout is available in the Dragonfly Avenue shop. Um, we do have a free version, not this layout, um, in the Dragonfly Avenue library. So feel free to check both of those out, uh, as well as a couple of our other uh, designs and products. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please reach out. Oh, and just as a um, thing that if for some reason, a bonus tip, if for some reason this isn't connecting, if your email isn't connecting, um, if you're using a caching plugin, purge all, so purge the page, and if not, go to the dashboard, Go to Divi, theme options, builder, advanced, and then clear the static CSS file generation. And if it's not enabled, to so disable it, enable it, and then clear again, and then save it. Sometimes there's just a cacheing issue. So if for some reason you're struggling to um, connect it or it's not sticking for some reason, um, that should solve the problem. Okay. Again, thank you so much. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like the video, follow along, 
say mm -hmm. hi, all of the above. Okay. Thank you again. Have a good day. Bye.